This is Ben Davidson, subscribe to Sporting Icon. Now, I was watching the BT Sport interview with Tyson Fury with his reaction to what happened with Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin. And Tyson Fury was very complimentary of Dillian White. You know, he's saying, you know, these things happen. It's boxing. Every fight is dangerous. And all the guys like a Povetkin, a Dillian White, the Parker, the Joshua and the Chisoras and all these kind of things. He was saying that all these guys can beat each other on any given night. I forget the exact names he pulled out with, so maybe I've got one or two wrong on that one. But his point was, what happened with Dillian White can happen to anybody. And he said it himself as well, that he's been through these kind of situations before. What he's alluding to is what happened with um, John McDermott in the first fight, where most people felt that he lost that fight, got a gifted decision. And you could see how Tyson Fury was reacting when he got the rematch. He comprehensively beat John McDermott. You could see how emotional he was as how that first fight really, really affected him. So he understands what it is that Dillian White went through. And as he says before, he's a heavyweight. It's one punch and your lights are out. You need to stay switched on the entire time. And that was pretty much Tyson Fury's message. And when it comes to Dillian White as well, going in on Tyson Fury um, over like the last couple of months saying, you're a ducker, you're avoiding me. Again, he says, I have no problem with that because he's had to do it himself to get the big fights. Dillian White wants these big fights and he has to give Dillian White a lot of credit for that because if you guys go back, not even a year ago, you got Tyson Fury, you got John Fury and Shane Fury. They're all talking about Dillian White when they say, when you look at the heavyweight division, you can't call too many what they would call fighting men. Dillian White is a fighting man. Now, so that's like a lot of praise for Tyson Fury and his message to Dillian White is dust yourself down get that rematch, beat him, and get yourself back into contention. It's as simple as that, isn't it? And he said about uh, Povetkin as well, he's a very, very fit 40-year-old. Basically, he's saying 40 is just a number. He's an inspiration to a lot of people, to a lot of 40-year-olds as well. And for those who would say, look at Povetkin or look at, say, a uh, Vladimir Klitschko, age can just be a number if you live the life. These guys live the life. And there's so many fighters out there, and especially heavyweights, who would love to be in the condition of these guys, okay? But it's strange though that Tyson Fury, he says all this kind of thing. Billy Joe Saunders said very, very similar earlier on IFL TV. But yet a very, very small section of Tyson Fury fans, these cancerous little bastards, that's what they are, where they latch on to the controversy that Tyson Fury will create. Even though Tyson Fury said time and time again, a lot of the things that I do and say, I don't mean it. I'm doing it for hype. Fury has said this with his own mouth, but, but these people are so stupid that they don't realise that. And unfortunately, these minority of Tyson Fury fans, they spoil it for the majority. Most Tyson Fury fans, such as myself and most of you guys listening right now, support Anthony Joshua, support Dillian White. Just that if these guys end up fighting each other, you've got to pick a side, okay? And, and of course, these Tyson Fury fans will pick Tyson Fury on the night. They believe Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight of the current era. And there's nothing wrong with that. And so far, Fury hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? But this minority spoiled it for the rest. This minority, much like a minority of Wilder fans, spoiled it for the rest. And it turned a lot of people off Wilder. This minority will turn a lot of people off Fury. Even though he's complete polar opposite to how they act. These guys will come on and laugh and mock and joke that, that, that Anthony Joshua got defeated by Andy Ruiz Jr. That Dillian White got defeated by Alexander Povetkin. Your fellow Brit, for the most part, I know not everybody's British, but for the most part, the Tyson Fury fans who are British, laughing and mocking because they're so anti matrim But yet they'll put on the England football top and support England. You're not patriotic, so I don't know what, what issue you're talking about. The patriotic ones who support Fury will also support Joshua and will support Dillian White, but Fury's their guy. That's what a true boxing fan really should be about in some ways. But of course, some of it is banter, some of it is uh, just laughs and whatever else. But some people literally take it very, very far. Okay, These are the ones who go on in and out of other people's comment section on social media just to mock and laugh and argue with people, maybe because their lives suck. And quite a lot of them were coming here. And it's strange because I've seen some of the comments and they're like, hey, remember me? I told you I was going to come back here when Dillian White lost. Like, 
Why would I remember you when I get like 100,000 comments a week? I'm really gonna remember you. Sorry, I don't. I really don't. The only ones that I remember are the ones who consistently comment. And if you consistently comment on the videos, then I will remember you, of course. But these people live in like their own little bubble. Like I'm, th I'm sitting around thinking, oh no, this little Joe Bloggs person who commented two years ago, oh no, he's gonna come back now. Really? Is that really what you think? It's pathetic, really. It is really pathetic. They'll run around, they'll call people dossers because Tyson Fury uses the word dosser. This shows you the weak mentality that they have. Because they can't think for themselves. I don't know, maybe their mum was a hooker and they can't figure out who's actually their father out of the 150 clients that boned their mum that particular month when she was conceived. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Their parents failed them. They're going to fail their own kids. And it is the minority. It really, really is. You're not boxing fans. And I, and I do question if they're actually Tyson Fury fans. A lot of people will use some of the things that Tyson Fury says and does for their own means and board the Tyson Fury hype train. There's nothing wrong with, with uh, boarding the Tyson Fury hype train. He's a phenomenal boxer. And I personally am proud of him. But again, you see, some of these people say that I'm a Tyson Fury hater. You try and find me something that I've said about Tyson Fury in a negative way, of course, that Shane and John Fury haven't said also. Are they haters of Tyson too? So you can't do it. And these people, they haven't watched, or maybe they have, but they've totally erased it. The fact that I was one of the very, very few that actually defended Tyson Fury with the whole British Boxing Border Control and UCAD. The fact that they were stringing it out for so long to the point where I only lost my channel over this whole thing. The fact that you know, I've shown and proved that Tyson Fury didn't cheat against Wilder. But the fact that I've said that Tyson Fury, he could well be the best of this generation. So far, he hasn't put a foot wrong. And I can see him beating everybody. But he does have vulnerabilities. And because I say he has vulnerabilities and he can be beaten, you're a Tyson Fury hater. That's what they see it as. But yeah, these people have never met Tyson Fury. They've never spoken to Tyson Fury. I've never had a conversation with Tyson Fury either. He has retweeted like a couple of my videos in the past. And with Tyson as well, he's a very humble guy. You know, people want to go at Anthony Joshua. Joshua and Fury actually get on. And both of these guys have said it on numerous occasions, but they don't want to look at that. What they want to do uh, is make, make their own pathetic little lives out to be something that it's not by deflecting and having a go at other people. So these very same people who are British, who say that they're proud British or proud English, whatever it may be, who's then going at Joshua and going at Eddie Hearn, going at Dillian White, because they think that's what it is that Tyson Fury's about. That, that is not what Tyson Fury's about whatsoever. It really isn't. So quite what it is that uh, some of these guys see is beyond me. Most of you guys understand what it is I'm saying. Most of you Fury fans understand what it is I'm saying. Nothing wrong with supporting Fury. Is he the best? Why not? Why not? But a lot of these guys, they do like Dillian White. A lot of them do like Anthony Joshua. But ultimately, if any of these guys fight Fury, Joshua, White, in the build-up to this fight, they are going to be the enemy. And that's boxing. It is what it is. But some of these people who come out and laugh and mock and cheer because Tyson Fury hasn't been beaten and Dillian White's now been beaten, I kind of sense for some of them, it's almost like a bit of a relief that Dillian White got beat. Honestly. Honestly, I do. And if there's any uploaders out there, I haven't watched any uh, people's videos on Dillian White Povetkin. I'm sure there's going to be some of them laughing and mocking. And if they're British, you know what kind of scumbag they are, don't you? Honestly, you do. You know what kind of filthy little maggots that they are. They're not British boxing fans. Then I'm not even too sure if they're Fury fans, to be honest with you. But some people just want to hate just because it's Eddie Hearn. I don't know what it is. Maybe because their parents brought them into poverty when they were born. And Eddie Hearn wasn't born into poverty. So they resent him for it. I don't know what it is. But hey, listen, some people have sad, pathetic lives. They want to try and act like they're above anything. They're not. They're not at all. A lot of these guys, especially any kind of British uploaders as well, who may be mocking and laughing the fact that AJ lost and now mocking and laughing the fact that Dylan White lost. Just filthy little maggots. And you can tell them that I said that too. I don't know who they are, but if there are any, you can tell them I said that as well. Because do you really think that I would laugh if Tyson Fury um, ended up fighting AJ? 
and AJ chinned him. Or Fury fought Dillian White and Dillian White chinned him. Do you really think that I'm going to laugh about that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'd be happy for the winner and gutted for the loser in, with any of these three guys. But anyway, the majority, very, very good boxing fans, good people. The minority, just filthy, cancerous, poisonous social media people. That's all they are. So anyway, Tyson Fury, nothing but praise for Dean White and wishes him the best in the rematch. Dust, dust yourself down, get on with it. I've been there myself before, similar anyway. Let's see what kind of road uh, Dillian White takes to come back. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video.